Hi guys, my name's Barb, and I'm new to the YouTube game. So as you see, some of my video got cut out, but I'm going to be using this cardboard and I'm cutting out two circle pieces from the cardboard. We're going to make a wagon wheel. I'll put a list of the materials in the description box, but we're going to make two of those circles. We're going to be using this smaller hula hoop and these long skewers I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I just want to thank you all for watching and please subscribe so that um, I can get some recognition for my channel. Also hit the bell so that you can be notified whenever I make new videos. So here I'm just lining up the skewers or dowels. You can pick them up at Walmart if you want bigger ones. But these are just the small skewers from the Dollar Tree, the very long ones. I'm just going to line them up so that they're um, centered. And I'm going to cut off the excess with these um, wire clippers. You can use those dog nail trimmers, anything like that will work. And so I'm just going to make sure I got it centered. center the other one as well right across it making a cross and it's important to have it equal on both sides you know to have it centered correctly so that your spokes look right And I'm just trying to center it up. Once I get it centered, I'm going to put some hot glue under the ends on my hula hoop to hold it in place. I'm going to do that to both of the rods or skewers. I'll just call them rods from now on. Apologize for the audio, I can't find my microphone. And I'm going to uh, add a bunch of hot glue to the middle. Don't worry about what it looks like because we're going to add those um, cardboard circles to the middle. start taking some littler pieces and adding them around the sides to make my spokes. When you get them centered the way you like them, just um, dab some hot glue on the ends. And uh, like I said, don't worry about the middle. It's going to be covered. And also, um, we're going to turn this over. So this is the back part. You can put as many spokes as you want. As long as you just get them centered up nice and even.
I want to say that I got this idea from Style My Sweets. Check out her channel. She is awesome. That's what I want my channel to be like one day. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just finishing up putting my spokes on. Which I think my wheel could have turned out a lot better, so I'm actually going to call it a fail, and I'll probably redo it. But practice makes perfect, right? Once you get it all together, add a bunch of glue to the middle. I mean, load it down. And like I said, we're gonna put these in the middle so it don't matter. So we load it down and we place the cardboard and we turn it over and we're gonna put the round cardboard on the other side. We are need to make we need to make sure we have this centered up and you see it's off center there and I'll just move it around in a minute. But once I get it all centered up, because the glue's still hot, still move it around a little bit. Once I get that on there, just you see, get it all, straighten it up a little bit. I'm going to take this Rust-Oleum chalk paint with my sprayer and give it a good coat. Here it's painted. I didn't get it very good in the middle. You can still see the cardboard there, but I'm going to, um, Like I said, probably redo this, but I'm just gonna, you can give it a good coat of paint, do a better job than I did. And I don't think the chalk paint looks very good on this either. So I think it needs the glossy. Then I'm just gonna add some flowers to the side and arrange it the way I like it. And using wire to attach it works best and then you can add like a little welcome sign or a bow or whatever you'd like
You don't even need these wire cutters for this wire, but I couldn't find my scissors. You can see the top of the wagon wheel. I didn't get the hula hoop. I didn't get it sprayed very well. That's because I was rushing. It was so hot outside. So here's what it looks like after I got it together. I could have done better. But this next project is uh, a little welcome sign and I'm using this stretched canvas and I'm going to just take the canvas off of it. I'm gonna be using this welcome sign, this welcome uh, decor piece too, and some Waverly chalk paint and antique wax and ink. And I don't know what happened to my video. What happened to the color? This video has been a fail, fail, fail. But I appreciate you all watching and bearing with me while I try to navigate my way through this YouTube land. So I'm just going to take the canvas off of the wood and I'm going to be using the canvas and the wood pieces so I don't want to rip, you know, just cut through the canvas. After I get it off, I'm going to trace around or cut around actually where the wood was. So I'm just going to cut around the edges here. And when I, I'm going to put it on my wood frame and I don't want any of the white to show over. So I'm going to take this Waverly, it's antique wax, and I'm going to cover the wood in that. You can use uh, that wood finish if you have it, but I really like this a lot better than the wood stain. I'm just going to cover my whole frame, front and back, and sides. I really like the look of antique wax color with the black. 
for the ink color of the Waverly paint. It is really, really nice together. And I wish that my color was working because this is such a pretty project. I may redo this video. Well, I know I'm going to do the wagon wheel, so I might as well do this one too. What's funny is I use my new video camera on this one. Once you get that done, you take the Waverly paint in the color ink and you color or you paint, I'm sorry, paint the welcome sign and any kind of black paint would work. white fabric or canvas sticks over just cut it off Excess white canvas off the edges. your welcome and just dab a little bit of hot glue 
and position it where you want it on your sign. Then I took these little pieces of greenery from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put a little bit on both sides of my sign and hot glue them down. And then I popped a little uh, black and white buffalo check um, bow to it. I really appreciate you all watching this, even though it was a fail, but the ideas were good. And I really um, want to thank DIY Home and Crafts and Style My Sweets. They give me a lot of inspiration, as does Glue Guns and Roses. I really love those YouTube channels. So, pop it on the bow, and there's your finished product. And this one turned out really good. I like it. I just wish the color showed. So, thank you all so much. Let me know what you think and share this so that I can get some recognition. Thanks, guys.